In this video, I'm gonna show a bicep push-up designed to lower the form and the bicep without feeling any pain in the shoulder. Very, very important with people with shoulder pain, oftentimes they're, they're overdoing it here and they don't know how to load to the rest of the arm so that this area tends to get overloaded. So what we wanna do is find yourself a windowsill or a corner of a room so that when I go and do the push-up, my face isn't getting blocked like, like so. Now, the most important thing is we learn to load through the front half of the hand, the knuckles and the fingers, not with fingertips being curled, but just loading through here and not just the heel of the hand. Now, you're gonna notice that if I turn my hand outwards, my bicep shortens. So what we wanna do when we're hand on the wall is we're thinking about that turning outwards. So when I do that, I actually wanna be a bit side bent like so here, so that my body is leaning onto the side that I'm loading. So let's go in this case, my right arm. I'm gonna put my hand on the wall, lower the 90 degrees. So not up here, but lower down. All right, now if you go upright and you lean against the wall, you should feel that this bicep tendon is actually prominent. If I'm lacking tension or if I'm just here, it's not gonna feel very prominent. So I wanna think my chest is tall, and my feet are gonna be back a bit, and I'm leaning into my arm with my, my belly button going over my toes. If I take my hand off the wall, I should fall. But if I just go with my hand here, you're gonna notice that there's no weight really on my arm. Or here, I'm leaning back. So it's more like I'm leaning my whole body forward and my arm is loaded. Now, already, I'm feeling my bicep tendon working because I'm pushing with my knuckles into the wall, not with the heel of my hand. Okay, so I should feel if I strum this area, there should be a prominent tendon in my arm and that's already creating tension through the right areas. Now, I'm going to lower myself down. Again, thinking about more of the pinky side hand. And I'm going to keep my hand rock solid on the wall as I lower my weight and feeling my knuckles. Okay, and remember that elbows in and I push away. So we're going down and up. My whole body moves as a unit not just my head, not just my pelvis. So if my hand's here, I'm lowering myself down. Now I push the wall away. I'm gonna feel a lot of work in this bicep here. I come down, I push away. Now one thing is I don't wanna snap my elbow to finish. I wanna push the wall away to finish. So we should be feeling work through the whole front of the arm here. Now if this feels troublesome on your wrist or feels like you just have limited wrist mobility, like using some sort of wedge or rolled up towel like this could be helpful so that I'm feeling um, less demand over here and I can do the same thing. Remember, one more time, we side bend, we lean forward, I feel this tendon prominent, I'm gonna stay upright and I'm gonna push and push away. And this makes me feel a lot of work in my forearm muscles and my biceps. So we're gonna go through six, 12 repetitions, feel the burn, if that's too much, work at whatever feels comfortable for you. You can always go a little closer to the wall if it feels too challenging, or even doing two arms with the same principles in mind of turning here, loading through the pinky side, and really try to make sure that you're feeling the bicep tendons loaded as you lower down. Give it a shot.